All right, let's look at the task sheet here then. Uh, so enthalpy of solution is what you are going to be doing. Now we haven't really talked about it. Uh, there will be a lecture video on YouTube again uh, for you to watch and learn what enthalpy of solution is about. It's basically that uh, you dissolve something into a solvent and temperature will change so you measure the change. The temperature may go up or down depending on what you dissolve into water. Okay? For example, what I know is like ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, uh, usually drops the uh, temperature of the solution. Okay? So you will measure that and hopefully you can calculate um, what's called enthalpy. Okay? Now enthalpy is something about how much energy in kilojoules is required to change the temperature of certain substance like water okay, uh, by one degree, one gram of it. <laughs> it's a lot of units in there, but basically, yeah, that's that. Okay, so you will be hopefully be able to measure and see if your experimental result is gonna be similar or the same, hopefully, to what you get as theory. So theoretically, you should get this, um, this amount of um, energy release or, or um, absorbed, right? So I'll give you that number, or you actually can find it in the textbook, or Essentials Workbook. And if your experiment will get that or not, if not, what were the reasons? What were the errors? Again, that's your task to um, evaluate your procedure and point out and why it didn't work or why it didn't give you the theoretical value that you should have got. Yeah. Um, there are pretty much, I guess, three parts to this prac. You will be answering questions first, questions that I, I have written down in the task sheet on the second page. Um, I'll just go through the uh, description first. And then after doing all those calculations, uh, you will uh, carry out an experiment and then measure the data with handheld thermometer. Now, I have got only one uh, data logger, so digital thermometer. So I will do it in front of all of you. So you can take note of the results. Then you will compare how different uh, handheld, you know, traditional thermometer is compared to the digital data logger. All right. Uh, that's part of the aim as well. After that, each student write a report uh, in which you will all demonstrate your knowledge and an understanding of the concepts uh, display, and then display the, uh, your results in appropriate format, evaluate both measurement methods, including short discussion about the effects um, of the use of technology has on the efficiency of the process. So a few things to talk about in your report, but you will do that bit by bit. Okay? Again, is to investigate the, the, the difference in effectiveness of handheld thermometers and digital probes through determination of the enthalpy of solution of NaCl. So you're dissolving NaCl into water, basically. Salty water, that's what you're making. Okay. Assessment criteria, you're marked against four performance standards. Obtaining, recording, and representation of data using appropriate conventions and formats. Secondly, evaluation of procedures and their effect on data. Three, uh, demonstration of knowledge and understanding of chemical concepts. Finally, exploration of understanding of the interaction between science and society. So a bit of um, science as human endeavor, because you will be comparing uh, conventional thermometer, handheld one, and digital catalog as well. So hopefully you can talk about that. Um, so, okay, you can read this when you start writing the report. Uh, there will be a word limit. That's probably the biggest change compared to last year or even tasks before. Thousand word limit um, without anything with stars on it. That'll be same as bio and physics from this year onwards. So yeah, make note of that number, please. 
if you decide to do an oral presentation, let me know. Okay. Now, preliminary calculations. So that's what you do first before you walk into um, yeah, practical tomorrow. Okay. Maybe we can use a bit of today's time and also a bit of time tomorrow, first half of the double. Yeah. Once that's done, you will use some of the numbers you calculated and do the experiment. Okay. So you have to do some of the calculations and you choose which number to use. Okay. So it's an application of what we're talking about, the quantities in, uh, quantities in reactions. Okay. So you'll be applying what we've been doing. So things like moles per liter there, grams per liter there. I have recorded a uh, percent wafer volume thing already. Maybe you can look through and uh, make your numbers into parts per million, parts per billion. And you will calculate how many grams or moles of NaCl required. Yeah? And you use the number to make the solution. So if all the measurements and calculations are correct, you should get something closer to the theoretical value in theory. Yeah? You do the prac after that, following the methods here, and submit the report. Yeah. Now, I'll be able to, this is a good thing about flipped classroom, I can do drafting while you are in class. You will be doing a lot of um, assignment in class, okay, as well as going through some of the questions. I don't stop you though, I don't stop you from working on an um, assignment at home, but I guess at home you'll be doing the lot learning, memorizing stuff through the lecture, all right? So it is going to be still up to you to keep up with the lecture, to take notes of it at home, then do I guess more. Hmm more difficult or more challenging work at school with me. Yeah. Hopefully you're following the idea of that too. Any questions so far? All right. If not, we'll continue on with some of the questions uh, on textbook, or maybe you can even start working on questions in here, this part one, the preliminary calculations. So by uh, solving these questions here, you can actually learn and recap everything that we've been talking about in uh, sub chapter 4.3, was it? <laughs> the quantities in the action. Okay. So look at the questions, uh, try doing that on paper first, then you will attach that as part of your um, appendix, right? But you'll be using some numbers in the report too. All right, so let's get started with these preliminary calculations, yeah? All right, let's go. 